welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing like a sit down, chatty makeup look. This is a Sunset Caribbean inspired makeup look that I kind of just came up with while I talk to you guys and give you guys a little bit of news and an update on Puerto Rico. If I miss some things, definitely let me know if you have any questions. I also tried out some new products today, so I hope you guys are proud of me. Not get it, I promise. Construction noise was so loud during the first part of this video where I was just doing my eye makeup that I decided to do this part as a voiceover and then when I'm doing like my face makeup, I'll start talking to you guys, okay? I hope you don't mind. The first thing I did was put on an eyeshadow base by NYX, apply that with my finger and then I grabbed some translucent powder, then my C translucent powder and I pat that in so it doesn't crease up. Then grab this color right here, I'm gonna leave all the makeup details in the description box. Um, I put that on my crease and then I forgot that I didn't put tape on my eye, so that's what I'm doing right here and then I continue applying that color on my crease. I then grabbed that orange shadow and I just started highlighting it right above that crease color. I know it looks like such a mess, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Next, I'm picking up some of that darker color and I'm putting it right on the edge and then I started blending that out so it could all mix together. Once that's done, I'm grabbing a flatter brush and I'm taking some of my concealer. Of course, this is a Maybelline concealer that I always use. And I'm just gonna start cutting the crease. Once I get that nice and clean, because of course I always mess up, I'm gonna grab a smaller detail brush, grab some more of the crease color, and just start adding it on the edges to really define that cut crease. On top of the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and add this Bomb Cosmetics Overshadow. This is in the color No Money, No Honey. This stuff is so pigmented, you only need a little bit, and yeah. Look how nice that looks. I'm then going back in with that crease color and with that blending brush, I'm going to start applying it to the very end. So I'm going to turn this into like a half cut crease sort of look. Then is my favorite part to remove the tape just because to me it's so satisfying. Although for me the line was a little too harsh so later on in the makeup tutorial you will see me fix that, okay? Don't worry, it's not going to look that ugly. <laughs> Under my brow bone, I added some of the Bomb Cosmetics Liquid Highlighter. And then on my waterline, I added this white eyeliner by NYX just to open up the eyes just a little bit. At the moment of filming this, I completely left my lashes at home, so I took some mascara and just really pushed it in there. Now back to you, Marilee. Okay, and now we move on to the face. So, for primer, I'm going to be using the Bomb Cosmetics um, Time Bomb Face Primer. I forgot I had it. I was actually going through my makeup when I was organizing it and I found it in my pile. Um, but I like it because it feels really smooth. I was between these two foundations and I'm actually going to go with this one today. Alright, so how have I been? I've been doing okay. Um, a lot of the people here, we're doing better. Things are starting to go back to normal. Um, there's still people that don't have lights around me. You're going to hear a lot of noise because Due to construction and fixing things, that house that I showed you guys that their roof completely like disappeared was up is right there. I think they're gonna end up moving though. A lot of people still around this area don't have a light. Even where I live, like I have light, and then like two neighborhoods down they don't have light, which is like super stupid. But you know, they're supposedly saying that by June everyone's gonna have light, but then like how many more months are left until? another hurricane hopefully not but like you know another hurricane or the hurricane season comes like like three months right so it's like come on in the town of Arecibo which is on the other side of the island people were protesting and so they were blocking the road so no one can go into that town unless the people the energia electrica I don't know how you say that in English the people that put the light until they come um, they were like just protesting like no one can go into our town until they come give us our light which is like you know, good, like, stand your ground, you know what I mean? People are going crazy. There's a bunch of trucks that came um, from other countries uh, to come help, put the light. And in the time that they left the car parked while they went somewhere, they came back to the van um, having, I think, their their gas. I forgot what they, they stole. From, but basically, the car couldn't move. Like, they stole something from it. And it's like, come on, guys, we need to cooperate too, you know? When I was shooting, for one of the um, looks last weekend. Um, one of the girls that were there, she told me, she made a Twitter account for her neighborhood and they basically tweeted at the Energia Electrica company like every day telling them, hey, we don't have light, come put our light, come put our light, come put our light. They finally put their light back. So basically when everyone got together and just started like complaining to them directly, they got their light, which is like, one, it's pretty neat, you know what I mean? like. Your voices are heard if you really 
unite together. But at the same time, it's like, damn, you know, you kind of have to take matter into your own hands. But I guess that's what a lot of people are going to have to start doing. They're going to have to start complaining directly to them. Me, I'm kind of living with drinking hot stuff because the hurricane messed up my fridge and... You know, right now I can't like go out and just get in the fridge. I currently, you know, because of the hurricane lost my job and I'm kind of just working with what I got. They're not where they used to be. Oh yeah, I'm applying some translucent powder to my forehead and just kind of like pushing it in under my eyes. And also don't want the areas, the areas around my mouth to crease. Yeah, I, I you know, I can't just go out and buy a new fridge. But I'm happy that I at least have light. You know, a lot of people still don't have it. It's a contour. I've kind of been using this NYX foundation. It's a mineral stick. And I've been using the color Warm Almond since it's darker than my skin. But what else is new? The cops are protesting. So they're not being paid by the government. So they're basically working for free. And they're really upset about that. So um, a lot of them are just choosing not to work as protests. But they did to get their point across. Pause a moment, I'm gonna use this little brush here to blend that out real quick. What they did was that during New Year's and during Christmas, what do people do? They get drunk, right? They go out, they get drunk, they get crazy. And there's always, it's sad, but there's always some sort of violence that happens during the holiday because people, they lose their mind, right? They decided they weren't gonna work on New Year's and they weren't gonna work on Christmas. And they were telling people to be careful, there was already crimes happened in all the places that there weren't like, and in the main cities, which are San Juan, Caguas, you know where um, a lot of the parties happened. I think Ponce was one of them too. There was a couple of like big pueblos. And so people are unprotected and the cops, eat, the cops were literally telling people, hey, you guys, if you have a gun or if you have a knife, um, you know, use it if you have to make sure that you know where it is because you know people are going to be going out there and going crazy and i just had two thoughts about that one of course i understand you're not getting paid but at the same time it's like you do know that by you doing this you're willingly knowing that some people are going to die because you know a lot of cops take pledges like you're just going to willingly let people die so i don't know it was kind of insane there was already so many times that where i lived there was so many gunshots so many gunshots and it was dark you don't see where it's coming from so it was like super scary it was like the purge like people could do whatever the hell they wanted people were stealing cars people were doing a bunch of things and no one got caught because there's no cops around to stop you there wasn't even any cops they said there wasn't any cops to even give someone a simple traffic violation so imagine there's a lot of people that are still using plant generators so i know someone who got theirs stolen and who was filing a police report oh yeah it's a contour guys i'm also using this um, palette. A lot of you guys recommended me a lot of good products. I haven't really been able to leave my house so I couldn't go out and buy them but I read your recommendations. Thank you so much because I need some new like contouring products like I don't want to be using the same ones every time. Like, I finally ran out of the benefit one. <laughs> For blush since I always use the same NYX palette um, at Sephora I got like a sample of the Makeup Forever blush and it looks like this. It's actually really nice. So I just like dip my brush in there and I make sure to dust it off because I don't want like too much. I want very, very little blush. And then for highlight, this is another product that I had and I had not touched and I can't believe I never used this. This is so good. This is the NYX Chromatic Illuminating Powder and the color Synthetica. I think that's just in Spanish. On a positive note, a lot of people are getting help from FEMA and tourists are coming back, meaning that they're, you know, it helps with the economy. There's a lot of cruise ships already coming in. The Viejo San Juan is pretty much back to normal. That's just an update on that. We're all doing better though. One big thing that I'm really sad about is that we still don't have platanos. Because of the hurricane, all of the, you know, plantations and everything, they kind of just drowned. So we still don't have platanos. We're receiving frozen platanos, which I'm telling you are disgusting. Like, it's nothing like the real thing. You try to mash them to big mango or something, and it just tastes gross. You can fry them, I guess, and as tostones, and they'll taste better, but I don't like it. It's just so it's nasty to me. Bring real platanos back, please. Ship them in from somewhere. I don't know. Okay, for my lips, I kind of want to do like a glossy nude. I'm going to do the lip liner in the color Soft Spoken by NYX, right here. Of course, we're gonna go in with the 
Fenty Palm Glass or Glass Bomb. Now, sadly, I realized that I left my lashes back at home. So I'm gonna grab some more of the mascara and just like really push it in. I'm gonna add a little bit of that orange shadow again and just like put it under here. I'm gonna put some more of that Balm Cosmetics liquid highlighter. For me, the lines were a little too harsh. I just took my beauty blender with a little bit of the leftover um, concealer and foundation and kind of just like lightly blend it away at the edges. All right, and that should look like this. I don't know, I'm not like the best person at makeup, but I try. Okay, so I ended up like laying my baby hairs, putting on this bandana and putting in the contacts because since I left my lashes at home, I feel like something is missing in the eyes area. So I think the contacts is maybe pop in the meantime. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.